What's going on YouTube? My name is Michael James. I am a published author and full-time writer and today we're going to be talking about universal truths and morality and different questions you should be asking yourself to incorporate these into your story. So grab yourself a cozy writing sweater because real writers wear grandpa sweaters. I mean, actually, I don't know if my grandpa would wear a sweater like this, but you, you get the point. You got to stay comfortable while you're writing and uh, grab yourself a coffee. Let's get right into it. All right, so as I said, today we're gonna to be talking about different questions you should be asking yourself in your story. When you ask questions that have to do with universal truths, morality, and just uh, questions that everybody has, everybody has these same questions. These are the type of questions that make a story feel more lifelike. This is how you make a story that takes place in a fantasy world feel realistic to your reader. Um, and obviously there's other things that go into this like world building and stuff like that. Or if you're writing, even if you're not writing a fantasy novel, but you're writing something with supernatural events that may not be realistic in our world. You know, if you want that world to feel more real, then make your character ask questions that are real to us. And then your reader will feel like they could be in the same shoes as your character. So let's get right into it with question number one. And question number one is, what is good? And I actually want to read something really quick from my notebook. If you didn't see the last video I just posted, uh, check that out. But I go through some of the notes that I uh, wrote down during the month of January. I'm going to be doing the month of February very shortly. Um, the question, the notes I wrote down from the book I'm reading. I'm reading The Writer's Journey by Chris, Christopher Vogler. Super good book and I would highly recommend it. I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out. But I want to read this. Um, this is on page five of the book. This is one of the first things the writer says and he says, all stories answer universal truths or childlike questions. For example, who am I? What is my purpose? What is good? And we're going to be talking about some of these, but you want to have those universal truths and childlike questions. And on this page, it talks about theme. And it says, in a good story, everything is related somehow to the theme. Theme is an underlying statement about an aspect of life. For example, love conquers all. So these things kind of go together. Um, and these questions are going to help answer your theme. But when you think about what is good, that should be something that's in almost every story. Your character should be asking, what is good in life and why? And, you know, if you want to dive deeper, what is bad? What is evil? Why is somebody evil? Why am I the good guy? What makes me the good guy? So different questions like that are things that you would be asking if you were in your character's shoes and something I would be asking if I were in my character's shoes. So really think about that. What is good and why is my character asking that question? What's going on? What are the events that cause him to think about this? Um, and thinking about morality in and of itself in a story is going to bring it alive because it's going to make your character very relatable. Question number two is what is my purpose? And this is another good question that your character should be asking, but I also want to say that this should be a question that you as the author should be asking, the character should be asking, and then thirdly, the the reader, the audience should be asking this question. And how you would paint this picture is by having your character realize what their purpose in life is or trying to discover what their purpose is in this story. And when you talk about that and have that character develop in such a way, it's going to cause you to ask that question about yourself um, while you're writing that story. And it's going to also, also cause your audience to ask that question. And that is a really good question for your audience to be asking because obviously everybody wonders what that is at times in their life and it's very relatable like i said in the last question question number three is what do i want to be remembered for and again this is a question that everybody can be asking whether it's the character audience or the writer but uh specifically the character in your story should be wondering what do they value what are the principles they live by why do they live by those principles is it something that happened in the past that caused them to live a certain way is this something that needs to be altered and changed is it something that they're stubborn about that they shouldn't be you know ask yourself why does my character do the things he does and what does he want to be remembered for what does he see as value in himself that he wants people to see him as you know it goes beyond just seeing him as a good person the characters in the story probably see him for more than that 
um, and you want to you want to bring that out and show what they see him for and a great way to bring this out is actually to have this be contrasted with a mistake he makes because it should be uncharacteristic of him to make that mistake so maybe throughout the story your character is all about truth and honesty and never lying and then have him mess up and tell a lie tell tell a fib and it gets out that he lied now it puts a mar on this uh, value that he lives by and he has to deal with that and that will really show what your character um what your character values in themselves and how they see themselves. Question number four is how do I feel? Again, this should be a question you should be asking while you're writing this. How do you feel about this story? How does it make you feel? What kind of emotions is it pulling out of you? It should also be a question your character's asking. This will help you describe the details of the story a lot more and um, develop the characters while they are feeling a certain way throughout the story. And then your reader, your audience should have a feeling, whether it's tension or they see the romantic uh, scenes and it makes them feel love. Whatever it is, your reader should have some kind of feeling uh, with the story. There should be an overarching theme that has some kind of feeling that goes along with it, but at the same time, within each scene, within each obstacle your character faces, there should be different kinds of feelings that come out. Question number five is why are people mean? And this might seem like such a simple question, but that's what it's all about. Asking the childlike questions that children ask while they're growing up. Why are people mean? Why is there evil in this world? And those are the type of questions that your character should be asking as well, especially when something is going on in your story. Uh, if it's like an adventurous story where there's an obstacle, a bad guy, whatever it is, they should be asking questions like, why do bad things happen? Why do these things happen? And that should be a question that's answered throughout the story, or maybe it's not answered, but it's something that's uh, pointed at while they're asking this question so that your reader can think about this. Again, it doesn't have to be that your story has a moral. It doesn't have to be that your story is trying to teach your reader something. If you just wanna write a story for entertainment purposes, that's totally fine. But having these questions in there is going to cause your reader to find your writing much more profound because you're causing them to think about reality while reading a fictional story. And that's what makes it more lifelike and makes them enjoy the story so much more. Question number six is, is there a God? And this is something that, you know, you can, instead of saying just the underlying statement of, yes, there's a God, have some non-believers in your story or have some believers in your story. Um, you can paint them any way you want, but it should cause your reader to see that just like in real life where some people believe in a God, some people don't, it should be the same in your story. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a main part of your story, but having to, having maybe a scene where something scary is happening and someone prays and, or someone else is like, why are you praying? Like whatever it is, having little moments like that cause your reader to think about it. They, it causes your reader to think about, is there a God? And that is a universal question that everybody asks themselves at one point in their life or another. And you want your character to go through that experience as well. And then the last question, question number seven is why do bad things happen? And this kind of goes along with why are people mean? I kind of already touched on this, but really have the events have some kind of meaning to your reader. Have these awful events that take place, whether, especially if it's like, if there's a death in, this, in one of the scenes, or maybe somebody gets captured or kidnapped, or just awful things. When these things happen, your reader should be asking themselves, why do these things happen? And in contrast, they should be asking themselves, why should I do something about it? You know, or why should something be done about it? Why don't, why don't we just let this all be, uh, you know, uh, swept under the carpet and no one cares about it, you know? So, Really think about those seven questions. What is good? What is my purpose? What do I want to be remembered for? How do I feel? Why are people mean? Is there a God? And why do bad things happen? And, you know, I, I asked these questions in no specific order. I just kind of wrote them down. And there's plenty of other questions you, you should be asking yourself while you're writing. But I hope that these seven questions will 
hopefully get those gears turning in your head and you can be thinking about your story a little more and see if you emphasize any of these questions in particular or maybe you maybe you touch on all of them maybe you just touch on one of them whatever it is i hope that your story has some sort of theme that causes somebody to ask themselves about a universal truth or a moral and again doesn't have to be the actual moral to the story the story doesn't have to even be about that specifically but it should have some kind of underlying question that your reader is revealing either throughout the story or in parts of your story so that it feels more lifelike. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short little video and some of these questions will be helpful to you. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the content and definitely check out my other videos. Uh, again, I went over some notes from my notebook and it was awesome. I thought it turned out to be a great video and I can't wait to do the next one because March is here. So all the February notes are written and uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have other questions you think a story should be asking or if you disagree. I'd love to hear why you disagree and have a conversation about it. Like that'd be interesting. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.